Hello guys, I continue my weekly tradition of launching at least one component on my Livewire kit and one lesson for you guys on YouTube on how that component works. So Livewire lesson. Today we have place as dropdowns with unique values, which means that if you have a set of dropdowns in your form, if you choose the value in one dropdown, it disappears from other dropdowns. It's usually used for something like tournaments, where you need to choose the places of participants without repeating the same. So for example, we're talking about Eurovision Song Contest, and these countries actually are seated exactly this way from Eurovision participants. And for example, you choose France, and France is no longer available in that other list. So you choose three countries, for example, you save the positions, and it lands in the list. So how does it work in the code and in the database? In terms of database structure, here's how it is. The tournaments database table. And by the way, I'm trying out table plus SQL client at the moment, jumping from SQL Pro, and I can zoom it more for you guys. So the main table is tournaments. And then there's country tournament, many to many relationship with position as an extra field on the pivot table. In the code, if we look at the tournament model here, this is the belongs to many relationship to countries with pivot of position. This is not a live wire stuff. This is eloquent stuff. Now, if we get to live wire, we have the main blade file, which loads live wire component, which is called tournament form. In that tournament form, we have tailwind and bootstrap version inside of that component, but I will show tailwind. At the bottom, we have the table of for each of the tournaments, and then we go for each of the countries with pivot position. Again, that's eloquent stuff. That's not live wire. It's a typical for each loop, but in the form up above, we have this form wire submit safe tournament. So safe tournament is a function in the component, which we'll see in a minute. And then we have for each position of max positions. So max positions is a variable that you can change easily. And then for each of the positions of the places and wire model is to the array positions dot and then position is a number from one to max positions. So the array starts not at zero, but at one. And then this is the main part. For each of the countries, if the country is not in positions already, and if it is not equal to the same position of that place, then we show that in a dropdown. So in other words, we show that in a dropdown only if it's the value of the same position of itself, or if it's not taken by other dropdowns. And it is all defined in the live wire component. So we open that max positions is the variable that I already showed. Then we have tournament name and positions, which is actually saving the data. And then we have collection of all the countries. So on mounting of the component, we do all the countries, we get all the countries from the database, and those will be used for all the drop downs. So this is the same as you saw here countries variable. So it's filled only once, then when rendering the component, we get all the tournaments data. And this is important, we get all the countries. So that's an eloquent relationship ordering by position. So this is how you can get data with pivot table ordering along the way. So that's kind of an eloquent lesson along the way. And then when we save the tournament, what do we do? We validate it. And then we create the tournament and for each of the positions for each of the array. And this is important as position country. So position is from one to max positions variable. And then we attach the country with belongs to many relationship, attaching also extra column of position, which is the same as you can see here with pivot. So if you define with pivot in the model, you can do another array as a parameter while attaching the belongs to many module. And then we reset the variables. So after shooting this video, I see that this component is more about eloquent lesson on belongs to many than on live wire itself. But still, you may learn a thing or two around Livewire as well. And as usual, I'm finishing my lessons on Livewire with incentive that you can purchase all the Livewire kit, which is 30 components at the moment. If you scroll down all the list, then you can see that drop down set of with unique values here, component number 30, and you can purchase that purchase all the code for $29 at the moment for all the components one time purchase. So check out livewirekit.com and by purchasing that you actually support this YouTube channel because the more money I earn there, the more free time I have to shoot free YouTube videos for you guys. See you guys in other videos.